everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Dr. Clark and Dr. Volker. And we are doing a series on sex by the numbers. So number four, you have four parts to your sexual identity. Dr. Volker, tell us about that. Well, I'm really so pleased that in uh, the trainings that we do together, I'm grateful that we always include the four parts of sexual identity. It can be very complex, but if I had a tattoo, I probably would have a tattoo on my body of the four parts because I can't tell you how many times I have explained that to people and airports, restaurants, malls, movies. Okay, so the interesting part is the first part is your biology, your chromosomes and hormones. And that was given to you when you were conceived. I call it shooting craps in the uterus. It's like you get what you get. And so that part, uh, I've, I've worked with many children who've gotten a combination of different parts of chromosomes and hormones. So if somebody with a penis got, okay, an extra female chromosome, or somebody, a baby with a vagina, got an extra male chromosome, a part that's going to affect perhaps how they look, number one, biologically, or number two of this, their gender identity. And I'm hoping that if people want more information that they continue to take your classes, Dr. Clark, because whew, there's a lot of information about gender identity, which is between your ears. Do I feel more male? Do I feel more female? Who do I identify with? Um, more. And so we have to look first at the biology part. And here's where endocrinologists can help with the biology part. And counselors trained in gender can help with the gender identity part, which is between the ears. Gender role, the third part, is how we present. Now, a lot of people present in very, okay, t-shirt, hoodie, and, and so it may not be more masculine or feminine. However, there are people who say, I want to dress in this way, present. I call them accoutrements, gender props, and gender cues. How they talk, how they sit, how they, okay, how they appear to other people, how they want to appear. So the interesting part is if, they, if it feels safe to them, and if they do get safety and support, then they can be who they are. And I always say, please be who you are because everybody else has been taken. I think that was Dr. Seuss. So the interesting part, the last one besides okay, biology, gender identity, gender role, that presentation, which is more external, then comes orientation. And that is who you're attracted to. And again, it can be a range. It can be to opposite sex, which we usually call heterosexual or straight. It could be same sex, which we usually call homosexual, gay, or lesbian. Or it could be in the middle, bisexual, and oh, get ready. There could be bi-straight, bi-gay, and bye-bye. <laughs> so there's a range. And again, that would be um, that if people feel secure about themselves, yes they will be able to share. If they're confused, oh, I would hope then you would go to a counselor who would help you sort that out. Those are the four parts of all of us, biology, gender identity, gender role or presentation and orientation, who we're attracted to. And by the way, it doesn't mean that sex has to be involved. Who am I attracted to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you uh, talked about classes and, and counselors. And so uh, anyone who's interested in more information, there is going to be a link at the end of this video. So please feel free to contact us. Excellent. Excellent. I hope people would. It's amazing, amazing classes. Mm -hmm.